checks in um, because tomorrow could be a day, huh? Yeah, uh, tonight, nice and quiet. I have to say that, so make the most out of it. And I think eventually, by th this time tomorrow, will be quiet, but it's in between. It could be a little bit rocking and rolling. One of the reasons why I'm forecasting the storms is a cold front. The other is the dew point temperature. The amount of moisture in the air, that's going to be going up. It's invigorating today, right? Dew point temperature about 50 degrees, but tomorrow I'm expecting that to be a little bit higher up to about 60, maybe 65 in some spots. Some heavier rain with this briefly, but also it's the gusty winds and hail that I'm most concerned with. Right now, that dew point, as I mentioned, in the lower 50s, some 40s, as you can see, to the northeast. Although it's creeping up close to the 60-degree mark. In fact, Jamestown right now showing that mugginess that's heading this way. They've got a dew point temperature of 61. So actually, it's a relatively nice night to have the windows open with the dry weather, and it's not going to be that cool at all for tonight. Fossil service experts live triple Doppler radar is dry. We do have a front down to the south. Caused some strong storms in Pennsylvania for today. It's rising back to the north, back to the west. And there's some real warmth here, cooler weather to north. It's that battle zone where we get the big storms to fire up. And that will be over New York State come this time tomorrow. So here's what you need to know for tomorrow. The mugginess, the cold front, not a washout, but there'll be a few scattered showers and thunderstorms. Probably two rounds, one in the morning and again in the afternoon. Wednesday, it's back to a nice pattern. High pressure builds in. Thursday, my pick day, lots of sunshine. And again, we're going to be in the middle 70s. So enjoyable temperatures for the most in my forecast. Just watch out tomorrow morning as you head out the door. Here's 5 a.m. One line comes through between 5 and 7 o'clock in the morning. Another line headed this way as we go to the afternoon. And that's the one, while well, the morning could have some thunder and lightning and a brief downpour, this is the one I'm more concerned with. We'll pause it at noon. The front climbing through central New York will hit 70 or just about and then drop. The storms will be pulling away then tomorrow night. Notice the sky beginning to clear out and it's going to be really nice there for Wednesday. So 60 tonight, quiet this evening, few showers and thunderstorms scattered to isolated well after midnight. Scattered showers and storms tomorrow, some peaks of sun, risk for some hail and high winds. I think that's south of Onondaga County, but we will stay on top of that. 76, 76. Nice and quiet the next two days. Evening showers on Friday and then the weekend unfortunately doesn't hold out dry. Scattered showers and storms Saturday, a few more on Sunday.